Welcome back everyone. It is golden harvest time. Uh, I was on my other account, my uh, shoe account on 133, 133, and um, there was no golden harvest, which I think a lot of people were a little bit pissed off about, um, particularly the whales. Uh, yeah, so I've got this on my YouTube account, so this is going to be Woo Nation. Um, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of my guys, shout out to Fallen Guild, have already jumped on and uh, are making some progress, but I thought I would um, suss it out myself and do a quick video on it. And if you uh, get to watch this, um, <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not too late. Hopefully you didn't spend all your ignorance on things that you probably don't need to spend them on. Um, but just brief, briefly, we're going to cover what you need to do, and then we're going to check out the logins, the activeness, gift packs, and shops. So the event rules are fairly simple. Over the next three days, uh, you will have a chance to buy limited event packages, which are refreshed every day, so you get different versions of packages. Uh, you'll have to check them out to see which one fits your needs, but they are generally... There's generally some cheap ones, which we'll cover, and then they scale in range for the whales. Um, this is a one week old server, so expect to see some explosive <laughs> progress considering the cake event will be released on this server, hopefully next fortnight. Um, Chow Chow will be either tomorrow or a little bit after, maybe not tomorrow, maybe in... The day after, I think. Um, there is a schedule, but they don't keep to the schedule. So don't ask me why, but I have no idea. Uh, it's kind of all over the shop. Um, but basically, if you've had time to read this, uh, or if you can't read English, I'll read it for you. Um, you get three days to get your daily login. So day one, it's a balloon vent this time. So day one, we get... Uh, Ignits, 588 and 5 balloons, so I'll show you what the balloons do in a sec, and then basically you want to go in and you want to do your story instance events, which you normally do for your dailies, uh, and you also want to do your travel events, which again you'll normally do for your dailies. There is a maximum cap, which is 24, so it's combined, so you can get, and it's all random by the way, so if you have more travel tokens for instance i don't think i've got too much energy i've only got 59 um but basically it depends on your situation because you're going to do this every day for three days uh so you might divide it up you might only focus on doing all of this uh currency so i might do all you know 59 or as many as i can to get uh the uh balloons uh or I might just mix and match and decide to go into the chapter battles and do some smashes and get the balloons that way. The reason, uh, the reason I think that works is because there isn't, they don't tell you that there is a breakdown. As far as I can tell, there is no, like you can only get 12 from your travel event, you can only get 12 from your battles. Um, if that changes or if you know that, that for a fact that that doesn't work, you have to do both. Let us know in the comment section below. Um, but as far as I can tell, if they've not stipulated it, they should, hey. But if they haven't done that, then basically you just use whatever you have the most currency of on the day. And then maybe the next day you'll have enough currency to swap over to uh, the other form of collecting it. Because um, you can buy additional rolls for both the, well, pills, I should say. They're called pills. So you can buy some additional stamina pills and energy pills. I'll buy the rest of those out. Yeah, but they depend on your VIP level as well. So if you're a free to play, I think it's 11. And then it goes up from there. Um, don't buy golden keys. It's a trap, by the way. <laughs> um, but activeness. This is where people are actually going to pick up the most rewards, especially if you are committed um the three kingdoms is probably the only one that i won't get out of all this because it's midnight in australia which is eastern standard time and 
yeah, so by midnight, I'm generally asleep. <laughs> Work the next day is very early. So Legion Boss 1, your quiz, your trial, your Legion Boss 2, um, and then basically your three kingdoms. So make sure you're active every day to do that, and you will snag some... Well, I mean, free ignorance for a free-to-play player. You, you're getting, what, a 1,000 a day just for doing that, plus you're getting, like, what, 10, 15 balloons. And I'll show you what the balloons do in a sec. Um, but here's the value package with the gift pack. So light spender. Uh, to, well, you can read the currency yourself. It's all going to change depending on what region your Google Play is in. In Australia, this works out to be about... That's the first pack is $1.60. The second pack is $7, nearly $8 and so on and so forth um you know whales on the server are already going to buy this for the currency you're not going to buy it for that that's a waste of money um but basically <laughs> swarm brother on this server bracket i can already predict people are uh, buying it for for their insignias maybe they need Zhao insignias if they're going woo nation but most of them will be buying it for uh swarm brother and that's pretty much it swarm brother would be the first pick and then from there you would go potentially chow chow um, and then whatever your nation specific artifacts are for that but i've digressed a little bit the top up total so the additional rewards are if you buy the limited packs this does not count outside of this you have to buy the limited packs from this event uh, it does count towards your vip though so you still get the bonus but you can't go to you can't go to this shop here and top up 9,000 ignits, right? That's not, well, 6,000 ignits. That's not going to count towards the event, so don't do that, thinking that you're going to get more value for money. You're not. Uh, you won't You won't complete the event, unfortunately. Uh, I jumped into the wrong screen. So you only can buy it from here. These change every day, so wait for the top item if you don't want this. Wait for the top item for tomorrow because it might change to a pet or it might change to a divine um, divine hero as well. So just be mindful. These do change every day. Uh, today, I think I will buy this one, the, the, the $30 pack, just so I can grab some of the um, currency for Chow Chow event. Um, but for the top up, so every time you top up during the event, um, th this doesn't change. This remains the same every day. So during the event, if you top up, <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking of the doing the, I'm doing the maths in my head thinking you want to spend 3000 Australian dollars or thereabouts for 80,000, you'll get a, uh, divine well ultimate insignia um <laughs> you'll get your ultimate insignia uh but that's about it so you can pick a mount you can pick a pet or you can pick uh to uh, wow why would you pick this you wouldn't pick that you'd pick that for sure <laughs> um you would definitely be buy. You would definitely be getting your ultimate insignia. You would not be getting any of them. Hepto is probably the best one out of all of them um, for your DPS class. Uh, pretty much all DPS use it. Uh, where is it? On Zheng Fei, it is a must. Um, so that he goes nuts. Um, but yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, yeah. Uh, lots of money to be spent um other rewards worth it well it's one of the better events um but if you're going to whale out you're already going to whale out uh the only one that's comparable would be the cake event which i believe is just simply better value because your entire legion assists you so if you progress solo and you whale hard on here but then if you have like in our guild, I think there's about five whales at the moment, maybe, and then a lot of dolphins. So you will probably find that you're going to advance the cake event. You're going to win your server event, and then you might win the inter-server, or you might get into the top 50 on the inner server, which is additional rewards. Cake event 
is just the best event to spend money on. Um, but this is a pretty close second. Um, this is where a lot of people are going to spend the majority of their ignorance for the foreseeable future. Um, I'll just scroll through casually, but my advice for the server bracket that I'm in at the moment is buy this heavenly beads and buy a couple of chow chow feathers. Um, you might even want to invest into some lion dragon charts for when we unlock that, but I would only buy this if you really need it, just because in the end, you're not really going to be using many legendary insignias. It's up to you. You can only buy one. Um, I would take that 3,000 ignits and invest in some currency. I mean, 20 feathers, if you get lucky, or 20 spears, if you get lucky, will get you a piece of armor. Um, but yeah... This is, uh, this is by at your own leisure. If, uh, if it fits within your category and your budget, um, I think, is that Lisa? Lisa? Lisa spent like 20k already, so uh, <laughs> hopefully you've advanced somewhere. Um, and this is where I think it's this is the free-to-play item. Please don't forget this tab. Um, just grab these. Grab these, grab these, grab these, um, grab everything because it's worth it. Uh, you, you, will clear, you, you will accumulate all of this currency throughout your entire play experience. Don't worry about it. You're not missing out. None of this is ultra valuable. Um, you definitely want to buy this and you definitely want to buy that and you can never have enough breakthrough, breakthrough pills either. So I would just grab that. Um, this is situational. This is must buy everything. Uh, again, situational. I mean, you could buy the, the dollar pack every day and you you eventually might get one of these ones. Uh, what would I get? I would probably get the pet. I would get this uh, out of that. And from this, I would also get that as well. Um, just for when you unlock your pet fountains, it will give you a early game boost. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to get down to, I don't think I'm spending $150. Nah, I doubt that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. I'll, I'll wait and see. It's Christmas around the corner. <laughs> Uh, so let's have a, let's have a brief example. I don't want to make it go any longer than it needs to. Um, we're going to farm some of this guy because I have him on my team. Let's see if we can show you an example. So this is just smashing it. And, oh, got two of him. That's not bad. Drew Sun, come on. All right, Legion share, show some, share some love. Oh, there we go. Finally got a balloon after 20 in. So it is all right, RNG based. Um, you can, you'll have to run, have a running tally in your head because there's nowhere that it says the um, amounts that you have accumulated. So, cause you get some every day. Uh, this is where I think they might need to implement something, but because you get one every day or you get five a day. So, you know, you start on five every day, then you go into your bag and now you've got six. So without purchasing any packages, I know that I can get 29 today. Um, I'm just going to use one just to give you an example. So you can get anything from these things. You can get divine shards, you can get artifacts. Uh, the divine hero shards. Um, I don't even know if you can get an. In I think that might be the limitation. I don't know if you can get yeah insignias, but um, let's just give it a go. There you go, divine warrior shard chest. Add it to the tally. Need a hundred of these smackaroons to get one of your uh, heroes out. Uh, heck, what? Well, let's just do five. Why not? Yeah, there you go. So a couple more Divine Warrior Shard chest. Totally, for that alone, it is worth getting your 24 a day. Like, let's be honest. For that that alone, you would do your 24 a day. 
because you want to you want to be building your um divine heroes you need a shit ton of them later on um so yeah I'll, i think i'll leave it there there's not really too much more to discuss um on the event side of things uh, but let me know if you uh, want anything specifically talked about in english um uh, but yeah catch you in the next one please like and subscribe